In hypothyroidism, hypo refers to having too little and thyroid refers to thyroid hormone. So hypothyroidism refers to a condition where there is a lack of thyroid hormones. Let us now discuss about the pathophysiology. The thyroid gland sits low on the neck below the Adam's apple and in front of the trachea which is the windpipe. The gland is shaped like a butterfly with two symmetrical lobes. The thyroid gland produces the two thyroid hormones, triiodothyronine, which is known as the T3, and thyroxine, which is known as T4. Thyroid hormone production is regulated by thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, and thyrotropin. Both hormones are secreted by the pituitary gland, which is located in the brain and regulates growth, development, and various metabolic processes. In hypothyroidism, there is a deficiency in T4 and consequently an elevation in TSH. Hypothyroidism occurs more commonly in females, 80% of the cases. Let us now discuss the types of hypothyroidism. There are two types of hypothyroidism, primary and secondary. In primary hypothyroidism, the thyroid gland is the problem because it isn't making enough thyroid hormones. Iodine deficiency is the most common cause of primary hypothyroidism in low-income countries that don't fortify foods with iodine. In countries that do fortify foods with iron, the most common cause of primary hypothyroidism is Hashimoto thyroiditis, an autoimmune disorder where T cells and autoantibodies like antithyroid peroxidase and antithyroglobulin infiltrate the thyroid. Primary hypothyroidism can also happen after treatment for hyperthyroidism either because the surgery removes part or all of the thyroid glands or because radioiodine therapy damages too many follicular cells. Another type of primary hypothyroidism is when it affects a newborn in which case it's called congenital hypothyroidism. In secondary hypothyroidism also called central hypothyroidism the issue is that the body doesn't produce enough TSH. It typically happens because there's a tumor in the interior pituitary which compresses the gland and prevents TSH production or because there's damage to the hypothalamus from tumors or trauma which decreases thyrotropin releasing hormone production. Now let us discuss the causes. The most common cause of hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's disease, an autoimmune condition in which a patient's own antibodies attack the thyroid gland. Drugs such as interferons, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, amiodron, lithium and carbamazepine can also cause hypothyroidism. Specific conditions such as iodine deficiency, pituitary failure, surgical removal of thyroid gland and congenital hypothyroidism are also contribute to hypothyroidism. Now let us discuss the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism which include cold intolerance, fatigue, weight gain, constipation, memory and mental impairment, typical facial appearance, hoarse, slow speech, depression, coarse hair or loss of hair and dry skin. Dear viewers, let us now discuss the diagnosis of hypothyroidism. So a diagnosis of hypothyroidism is based on two laboratory tests. Number one is low free thyroxine level. Number two is high thyroid stimulating hormone. Serum thyroid stimulating hormone measurement is the most sensitive test for diagnosing hypothyroidism. TSH is also the most reliable indicator for treatment. The TSH level and symptoms should be monitored every four to six weeks until levels are normal. Then four to six months later, then yearly, it is important to monitor thyroid function as the patient gets old because a dose reduction can be required. Too high of a dose of thyroid hormone replacement in elderly patients can cause atrial fibrillation and fractures. Serum FT4 is monitored in addition to TSH in central hypothyroidism, which is rare, which is a defect in pituitary production of TSH. FT4 is also monitored when treating hypothyroidism in pregnancy. Dear viewers, in the end, let us discuss about the treatment of hypothyroidism. The goals of treatment are to resolve symptoms, normalize TSH, and avoid overtreatment. Excessive doses of thyroid hormone will cause hyperthyroidism. Patients should be counseled on symptoms of both hypo and hyperthyroidism. Levothyroxine T4 
is the drug of choice for hypothyroidism and while lyothyronine is used for myxedema coma. Levothyroxine should be taken with water consistently at least 60 minutes before breakfast or at bedtime, at least 3 hours after the last meal for consistent absorption. There are many medications that can alter the effects of levothyroxine. Tell the pharmacist about all medications you are taking including OTC drugs, including vitamins, supplements, herbs and heartburn medications and last but not the least, different brands of levothyroxine may not work the same. If you get a prescription refill and your new pills look different, speak to the pharmacist. So dear viewers, that was all about hypothyroidism. I hope you find this video informative. We have given the links below to our different social media platforms. Please follow us there as well for more informative stuff and keep watching Pharmacy D by Asim. Also, if you have any queries, you can write them down in the comment section below. Thank you.